The fact that you could drown without drowning is a weird science fact that boggles my mind. Inhaling liquid is bad, okay? As much as man would love to breathe underwater, with the exception of Kevin Costner, we lack the requisite equipment for the task. But it turns out not all drowning is created equal. You can drown yourself in water the traditional way. You can drown yourself in a bottle of Jack Daniels like Pete Hegseth. Or if you drown yourself in the right fluid, you can go ahead and just keep breathing. Those fluids are called perfluorocarbons. And it's simply a fluid, like a saline solution, that is saturated with oxygen. And in studies done with mice, cats, and somewhat with humans, our lungs are able to extract the oxygen from that fluid and we can keep breathing. And in fact, partial liquid breathing is even used medically for mechanical ventilation to help get patients the oxygen that they need. But they have fully submerged mice and cats in these liquids and they've lived for weeks. It's, it's a little sad and disturbing. Uh, but but it happened. And part of why it's disturbing is because the experience you would have doing this is constantly feeling like you're drowning because, you know, your body says, oh, there's liquid in my lungs and that's not a good thing normally in the regular world and uh, you need to, to stop getting liquid in your lungs. But beyond that, the question is wh why? Why? Why would we try to figure out a way we could drown ourselves without drowning? Well, there's two potentially practical purposes for this technology. One that is a little less abstract is deep sea diving. If you know anything about deep sea diving, you know that going to deep depths and then coming back up has to be done slowly or you can get decompression sickness or the bends. And this is because the deeper you get in the water, the liquid pressure outside of your body is much greater than the air-filled pressure inside your body. And you have to slowly equalize and acclimate your body to that pressure or bad things happen. But but if you could fill your lungs up with liquid, you can breathe the pressure outside and the pressure inside would be close to equal and you wouldn't have to worry about it. You could go up and down at any speed you like. Now, I don't know if figuring that out is a good enough excuse to justify drowning cats and mice by not really drowning them, but that's that's the main practical application uh, that they were looking at. And as of now, and maybe forever, it, it doesn't actually work. You see, all these super oxygenated liquids are really good at dispersing oxygen into the bloodstream. Your lungs don't really have the capacity to expel carbon dioxide into it. So while you could survive doing this theoretically for an extended period of time, it's like having a potato in your tailpipe. You can't get rid of your exhaust, and therefore you can't continue to process energy or, you know, burn gasoline. And eventually you run out of power and just limp along. Yeah, it might still run a little bit, but you're not going to be able to do much like you know swim around now, with partial liquid breathing like they do on ventilators this isn't a problem because you're not inhaling enough liquid to feel like you're drowning you're not completely filling your lungs with liquid so the liquid you are inhaling evaporates inside your lungs and the carbon dioxide can be absorbed into it and exhaled but they are still researching this looking for ways that they could potentially do intravenous carbon dioxide scrubbing from the bloodstream to make this work and you might be wondering why? And that's a great question. And this answer gets a bit more sci-fi. It's space travel. You see, the human body can sustain nine Gs for a couple seconds. It can sustain six Gs for a couple minutes. But beyond that, even that would still be fatal. But for potentially future spacecraft that need to go really, really fast to get somewhere and accelerate really fast to do it, the human body may be forced to sustain higher G forces for longer periods of time. And one potential way to solve that problem would be to, once again, fill your body up with liquid. Liquid-filled lungs would dissipate those G-forces over a larger area, making the human body capable of sustaining higher G-forces for longer periods of time. And that is why they're still researching it, because, you know, rich people really want to go to Mars, I guess. Anyway, I told you all that to tell you that uh, you can drown without drowning. Still not recommended, and not really sure it's worth the research, but it can be done. And the fact that you can drown without drowning as long as the dampness you go down in is distinctly diluted, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.